producer. After the submission of the screening report from the Appeals Screening Committee, the Kogi State Governor gathered labor unions, party stalwarts, traditional and religious leaders to inform them on the latest development. 86,100 staffers. Once they went to the field, forms were given for people to fill. When the forms were returned, it was very clear that about eight to 9,000 persons didn't even bring back forms. So that clearly shows that about 9,000 human beings, unquote, were drawing monies from the treasury of Kogi State and they never existed. The state chairman of the TUC appeals to the state governor to tamper justice with mercy on erring civil servants. By the time we look at the gray areas, we want to plead with your, uh, your excellency that you see create window. For Governor Yahayabello, he is willing to offer pardon and amnesty to some of the civil servants who have committed one offense or the other, but at a price. Serious acts of misconduct, absence from duty without leave, and the affected, uh, affected uh, staff appointment may be dismissed. That is the offense. Clemency, certificate not to be recognized, staff reverted to appropriate grade level. Absence from work to participate in one year NYSC program without approval. However, we are pardoning the errant staff and to refund one year salary and allowances so end instead of being dismissed. The staff verification exercise will soon be rounded off, but the state government says it will no longer tolerate anybody who indulges in any corrupt practices contributing to the underdevelopment of the state.